This lesson will cover the following topics. The turbocharging function. The swirl flap function. The damper function. The turbocharging function controls the turbocharging pressure. This function uses the following components. The atmospheric pressure sensor incorporated in the computer. The turbocharging pressure sensor and the turbocharging solenoid valve. There are various types of turbocharger. However, the control principle is the same. The regulation system is activated via a pneumatic control. The pneumatic control is linked to the vacuum pump via a pneumatic circuit. The turbocharging solenoid regulates the vacuum applied to the pneumatic control. The pressure sensor informs the computer of the turbocharging pressure inside the inlet manifold. The computer actuates the turbocharging solenoid valve using an RCO signal to adjust the turbocharging pressure. The solenoid valve controls the pneumatic control by activating the turbocharger regulation system. The computer checks the control action via the pressure sensor. The atmospheric pressure allows the turbocharging pressure to be adjusted. There is no defect mode for the atmospheric pressure sensor. In the event of turbocharging pressure sensor failure, the computer uses the control values to restrict the turbocharging pressure. In the event of a fault on the electrical or pneumatic circuit for the regulation system control, the computer restricts the engine performance. On certain vehicles, the turbocharger pneumatic control is equipped with a position sensor. The role of the position sensor is to increase the reactivity of the turbocharging pressure regulation. When the accelerator pedal is applied quickly, the pressure increase is not immediate. By knowing the precise position of the regulation system, the computer is able to anticipate the control should the programmed value change very quickly. In this section, we covered the following points. The turbocharging function controls the turbocharging pressure. The turbocharging solenoid regulates the vacuum applied to the pneumatic control. The computer actuates the turbocharging solenoid valve using an RCO signal to adjust the turbocharging pressure. In the event of turbocharging pressure sensor failure, the computer uses its programmed values to restrict the turbocharging pressure. The role of the position sensor is to increase the reactivity of the turbocharging pressure regulation. The swirl flap function increases the swirl effect to improve combustion. This function uses the following components. The engine flywheel sensor, the accelerator pedal position sensor, and the swirl flap solenoid valve. On engines equipped with swirl flaps, each cylinder is supplied with air via two valves each connected to an inlet tract, a rectilinear tract, and a helical tract. The swirl flap is fitted inside the rectilinear tract. The flap is activated via a pneumatic control. The pneumatic control is controlled via a solenoid valve, which regulates the applied vacuum. The swirl is a swirling movement which improves combustion. It lowers pollutant emissions. When the flap is open, the air passes through the two tracts at the same time. The swirl effect is low. When the flap is closed, the air passes through the helical tract only. The swirl effect is at its maximum. The swirl effect requires the inlet tract to be closed. This results in a loss of engine power. Activation of the swirl flap only takes place at low engine speed and low load. You can move the mouse's cursor over the components to see the programming used for this function. Any fault on the accelerator pedal position sensor inhibits the function. In the event of a fault on the swirl flap electrical or pneumatic control circuit, there are two possibilities. If the flap is stuck shut, 
there is a loss of engine power. If the flap is stuck open, engine pollution is slightly increased. In this section, we covered the following points. The swirl flap function increases the swirl effect to improve combustion. The swirl flap is activated via a pneumatic control. The pneumatic control is controlled via a solenoid valve, which regulates the applied vacuum. The swirl is a swirling movement which improves combustion. It lowers pollutant emissions. Activation of the swirl flap only takes place at low engine speed and low load. In the event of a fault on the swirl flap electrical or pneumatic control circuit, there are two possibilities. The damper function allows the engine to stop smoothly. This function uses the following components. The ignition switch and the damper valve solenoid valve. The damper valve is a valve which totally blocks the air inlet tract. When the engine stops, the damper valve cuts the engine air supply. The damper valve prevents vibration caused by residual movement of the engine. The valve is activated via a pneumatic control. A solenoid valve authorizes the vacuum, which closes the valve. A vacuum reservoir is fitted to the vacuum circuit. The reservoir contains the amount of vacuum required to close the valve. The ignition switch informs the computer that the ignition is switched off. The computer actuates the solenoid valve, which closes the damper valve. The solenoid valve continues to be supplied for a few seconds. The valve opens again to prepare for the next engine start. In the event of a fault on the damper valve electrical or pneumatic control circuit, there are two possibilities. If the valve is stuck shut, the engine will not start or stalls after starting. If the valve is stuck open, the engine does not stop immediately and smoothly. In this section, we covered the following points. The damper valve function allows the engine to stop smoothly. The damper valve is a valve which totally blocks the air inlet tract. When the ignition is switched off, the computer actuates the solenoid valve, which closes the damper valve. In the event of a fault on the damper valve electrical or pneumatic control circuit, there are two possibilities.